All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Keynote, of course, and how we're going to make a nice little um, a call out or a, a way of focusing your audience's attention on a particular part of a picture. Uh, this is a great technique uh, if you're showing websites, uh, screen captures, if you're showing diagrams. It's a great way to really capture your audience's attention and make sure that they're focusing on what they should be focusing on. Uh, the effect is kind of hard to describe, so let me just go ahead and show you. I've got a nice little uh, four-slide presentation here, and let me just play this for you. Uh, so we begin with, in this case, I'm just using a screenshot of uh, KeynoteClassroom.com. Now, say I was describing this website to my audience, and I wanted them to focus on a particular, in this case, tutorial, or a particular portion of the screen. What would be nice is to have that portion of the screen kind of zoom in, almost magnify, while the rest of the screen kind of dims temporarily. Uh, this will draw your attention to what you want the attention drawn to. Let me show you what the effect looks like. So you see that we are focusing our attention on the one portion of the screen that's interesting to us at the moment, and the back of the screen actually dims a little bit, and it makes it kind of fade into the background. And then, of course, it's always nice to have a nice way of getting out of this, and so we have it zoom back out to the normal screen, and then we can have it fade to black. So let me show you how we made this, and I'm going to begin by launching a new keynote presentation. Okay, let me just get this over here. And we will take the gradient theme. All right, get rid of our text boxes here. Now let me just copy, I'm just gonna copy the, uh, the picture I used here. Let me just grab this for a second. And so I'm just gonna grab this screenshot and we'll borrow that. So you could of course use any image at all. I have a, you know, just this screenshot of the website here. So what I wanna do first is I wanna duplicate the part of the screen that I'm gonna focus on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Command D and duplicate my slide here. And now I can edit this picture however I like. And I'm actually gonna zoom in quite a bit. It's a little bit pixelated, but that's all right. And so I want to focus in on this portion, the Restoring Animations tutorial. So I want to actually crop that out and create its own separate image. So I'm going to choose the rounded rectangle shape, and I'm going to get rid of the fill because I want to be able to see through it. Let me give it a stroke just so I can see what I'm looking at here. Let's make it a little bit thicker. So this stroke is going to be nothing more than the, um, the mask I use to create the shape I want. So I'm going to get that nicely centered on the picture. Uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so just bear with me for a second. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these objects. So edit, select all, and then I'm going to mask it. I'm going to go to format mask with selected shape. And what it does is it crops that picture so that I just have this particular shape, which is what I want. Uh, and it's neat because you can actually adjust the amount of curving you want. You can make it very curved. I like it just with a touch of curving on the corners. Okay, so there's my picture. Now, believe it or not, I'm just going to copy this, uh, Command C, and I'm going to bring it back into my first slide and I'm going to paste it. Now, I want to make it appear as if this, uh, port this little box that I just pasted isn't actually here. So what I want to do is I'm going to do my best to get it down to the same size as the other objects and I'm going to kind of place it here um, so that it you can't even really tell it's here at all. Uh, I think it's got to be a touch smaller. Again, you can really take your time and get this perfect. So you get it centered. Okay, and so there's our picture. Now it's neat because you can't even tell that that box is there. However, it's going to become very important because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of this slide. I don't need it anymore. And I'm actually going to take this slide and I'm going to duplicate it, Command D, and now I have a perfect copy of the slide. Now that's important. You want to duplicate it because we're going to be using the magic move here. And the magic move uh, is going to help us to um, kind of zoom in on my object here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to move it up, and I'm going to make it as big as I want it to appear. So maybe about that big. Now, we have to add another, another feature here. We want the background to dim. Now, there's a lot of ways I could do this. I could use the opacity action, um, but for me, the quickest and simplest is to just take a box shape. I'm gonna fill the entire screen with it. It's gonna become like an overlay. I'm gonna make it black, take the shadow off, and make it about, I don't know, 60, maybe 70% opacity. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send it backwards so that it's behind my picture. 
And so you see what I did there. I actually now have dimmed out the background and focused on what I want the audience to focus on. Now, in terms of the transitions, what I'm going to do is go back to the first slide. I'm going to do my transitions, and I'm going to try the magic move, and let's see what happens here. Yeah, that actually works pretty well. Let's preview that effect really quick. Okay. Well, there you go. Now, we want to be able to get back to where we were. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this slide again. So Command-D. I'm duplicating the second slide now. Now, when we return to normal, I don't want the mask. So I'm going to select this big box in the background here that I put in. I'm going to get rid of it. And then I want this to go back to the size it was. Now I could sit here and tinker with it, but the easiest thing to do is go back to my original slide and I'm gonna go and use the ruler tool in the inspector and I'm gonna check the size of the object so I could get it exactly the same and the position. So I have a width of 189, 417, 341. So I just need to do that here. So I'm gonna take my object, make it 189. The height should work. Uh, now in terms of the position, I forgot what it was, 417, 341. So I'm going to put this in those coordinates there. 417, was it 341? Perfect. Now it's exactly back where I want it. Now all I have to do here is make this second slide have the magic move effect. And there you have it. And uh, again, if I want this to fade to black, which I, I often do, I'll use that same trick again where I put a big box over the background um, and just make it black and I can have this kind of dissolve in or fade in on click when I'm ready for it. And so there we go, dissolve in. Okay, so let's take a look at the final result here. Okay, so there we go, I have my slide. On click, it zooms, fades the background. And then on click again, goes back to where it was, and I have my fade out. So it's a neat little effect, very simple to do. Would well, that take me about two minutes? And it really brings a lot of emphasis to what you're trying to point out to the audience. Thanks a lot. And you can download these files at keynoteclassroom.com.